Okay. Now, this whole video is in regards to a controversy that's been going on online for quite some time. And that is whether or not tone wood affects a guitar's sound when amplified. And we're only talking about electric guitars here. The argument simply goes that the pickups are only influenced by a vibrating string, okay, which interferes with a magnetic field in a pickup, which induces a voltage and a probably a very, very small current in a coil of wire, which is our pickup. Okay, so we all understand, we're all on the same page as to why these pickups work. Or are we? <laughs> anyway, we don't disagree the basic theory, we don't disagree on the basic theory of how these pickups work. The argument is whether the wood has anything to do with the tone at all. Now, naturally, it does when you just pick it up. We don't disagree there. Listened to acoustically, okay? So this little experiment is a little different than what I've seen on the internet, okay? And it's in support of the idea that the wood does play an effect, okay? Now, right now, I'm speaking through a microphone. I'm going to put it on the ground for a moment, and then I'm going to talk. to me you probably should be able to hear me better there we go all right so you can see that i'm talking through the mic we are not listening to the cam uh mic so you can see at times the mic was loud and at times the mic was quiet which proves that i'm using the microphone which goes into the mixer okay which then ultimately goes into the cam. Okay, so that is my audio input. Now the reason why that's important is, is I'm gonna put this microphone in front of that amplifier. And then we're gonna listen to that guitar over there. But most importantly, all we're listening to is the output of this amplifier, okay? Now, um, in doing that, I am going to see whether the signal that comes out of this guitar produces anything that can be amplified. In other words, is there anything coming out of that guitar? Because as you may have noticed, it has no strings. All right? There are no strings to vibrate across of those magnetic pole pieces. So if we have an output from that guitar, it's pretty hard to d it's pretty difficult to say that the output would be a result of str of st of strings vibrating across the pole pieces wouldn't it yeah it would be pretty hard to say that in the state that it's in considering it doesn't have any strings right now so i'm going to set it up to do that Okay, so I'm putting this microphone in front of the amp. Now, you, sh you should barely be able to hear me. You should barely be able to hear me. Can you even hear me? Probably not, or not well. Okay, so we turn on. Amplifier warm up. Cause it's a tube amp.
All right, I guess you get the point, okay? Tra sound was transferring through the wood into those pickups into the amplifier. And you may have also noticed that in most places that I knocked on the wood, it made a note, a particular note. All right, so let's talk, let's talk about a couple of things here. Let's talk about Newton's, I believe it's his third law. And it deals with the fact that for every active force in a, in a vector direction, there is an equal and opposite force, okay? So if I push with my hand on an object, that object pushes back. This we know, right? Well, on the guitar, you have strings that extend from one point of intonation at the bridge to the other point of intonation at the nut. We know this. When you pluck a string, that vibrational energy it imparts upon the body of the guitar. That is a force. There is energy imparted through those screws in that bridge plate into the body of the wood. Energy flows from the string into the bridge into the wood. Energy flows from the nut into the neck. Now, something we know about room acoustics and echoes and recording in a given room. You talk about a room that has sound waves bouncing around it. And we talk about reverberations and we talk about re early and late reflections of sound that gives our quality of reverbs. Okay, when you, when, when a guitar string is plucked, that vibrational energy is not only dampened by the wood. In other words, the rate at which that note decays is, is somewhat dependent upon how much energy is absorbed by the wood and how fast it's absorbed by the wood. But in addition to that, because of Newton's third law, when you impart energy from that string through that bridge into that wood, there is a force that comes back, okay? Now, the nature of that reverberation back or reflection of, like if there's an oscillation going in, there's a reflecting oscillation coming from the wood back into the string. Okay, now the rate at which that reverberation comes back from the wood into the string, the actual time delay will vary based upon what it is. Steel, plexiglass, one type of wood, another type of wood. If you have woods that are fairly similar and that they're both soft or both hard, you're gonna get simil similar characteristics. Now let's talk about another thing, okay? Single coil pickups, all right? that are of low output. So your app, typical 5.3K uh, DC ohm resistant pickup right up to 6, 7K pickups. That pickup's gain that it can offer to a signal, i.e. a vibrating string, is small. When you pick that string, it starts to oscillate. When it does that, its physical motion through 3D space is dependent on a few things and how it's held in place by the bridge and nut and whatnot. But it is also, its motion in three-dimensional space is affected by this reflection from, from the wood back. In a perfect world, you can use an equation that will exactly explain a sine wave produced by a given string of given tensile strength. But those equations are for a perfect setting, a perfect world where all things will be studied and negligible effects will be ignored. Now, in the real world, those negligible effects include the wood 
reflecting its energy back upon the string because of Newton's law. Okay, so you have a wave that would have been created just by the string alone, and you have a resultant wave that is created instead that is a product of the, re of the reflecting energy from the wood back to the string. So if it were to make one waveform on, on a um, oscilloscope, it's actually making a different one now that is a product of both its own characteristics as a uh, oscillating string plus the reflecting. And that is what gives you tone.